Tanakh. Proverbs, chapter 1 through 3, verse 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel. For learning wisdom and discipline, for understanding words of discernment, for acquiring the discipline for success, righteousness, justice, and equity, for endowing the simple with shrewdness, the young with knowledge and foresight. The wise man hearing them will gain more wisdom. The discerning man will learn to be adroit. For understanding proverb and epigram, the words of the wise and their riddles. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and discipline. My son, heed the discipline of your father, and do not forsake the instruction of your mother, for they are a graceful wreath upon your head, a necklace about your throat. My son, if sinners entice you, do not yield. If they say, Come with us, let us set an ambush to shed blood. Let us lie and wait for the innocent without cause. Like shale, let us swallow them alive whole, like those who go down into the pit. We shall obtain every precious treasure. We shall fill our homes with loot. Throw in your lot with us. We shall have a common purse. My son, do not set out with them. Keep your feet from their path, for their feet run to evil. They hurry to shed blood. In the eyes of every winged creature, the outspread net means nothing but they lie in ambush for their own blood. They lie in wait for their own lives. Such is the fate of all who pursue unjust gain. It takes the life of its possessor. Wisdom cries aloud in the streets, raises her voice in the squares. At the head of the busy streets, she calls. At the entrance of the gates, in the city, she speaks out. How long will you simple ones love simplicity? You scoffers be eager to scoff. You dullards hate knowledge. You are indifferent to my rebuke. I will now speak my mind to you and let you know my thoughts. Since you required me when I called and paid no heed when I extended my hand, you spurned all my advice and would not hear my rebuke. I will laugh at your calamity and mock when terror comes upon you. When terror comes like a disaster and calamity arrives like a whirlwind, when trouble and distress come upon you, then they shall call me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me, but not find me, because they hated knowledge and did not choose fear of the Lord. They refused my advice and disdained all my rebukes. They shall eat the fruit of their ways and have their fill of their own counsels. The tranquility of the simple will kill them, and the complacency of dullards will destroy them. But he who listens to me will dwell in safety, untroubled by the terror of misfortune. My son, if you accept my words and treasure up my commandments, if you make your ear attentive to wisdom and your mind open to discernment, if you call to understanding and cry aloud to discernment, if you seek it as you do silver and search for it as for treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and attain knowledge of God. For the Lord grants wisdom. Knowledge and discernment are by His decree. He reserves ability for the upright and is a shield for those who live blamelessly. Guarding the paths of justice, protecting the way of those loyal to him, you will then understand what is right, just, and equitable, every good course. For wisdom will enter your mind and knowledge will delight you. Foresight will protect you and discernment will guard you. It will save you from the way of evil men, for men who speak duplicity, who leave the paths of rectitude, to follow the ways of darkness, who rejoice in doing evil and exult in the duplicity of evil men. 
men whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their course. He will save you from the forbidden woman who forsakes the companion of her youth and disregards the covenant of her God. Her house sinks down to death and her course leads to the shades. All who go to her cannot return and find again the paths of life. So follow the way of the good and keep to the paths of the just. For the upright will inhabit the earth. The blameless will remain in it while the wicked will vanish from the land, and the treacherous will be rooted out of it. <clears throat> my son, do not forget my teaching, but let your mind retain my commandments, for they will bestow on you length of days, years of life and well-being. Let fidelity and steadfastness not leave you. Bind them about your throat, Write them on the tablet of your mind, and you will find favor and approbation in the eyes of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your paths smooth. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. It will be a cure for your body, a tonic for your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the best of all your income, and your barns will be filled with grain, your vats will burst with new wine. Do not reject the discipline of the Lord, my son. Do not abhor his rebuke. For whom the Lord loves, he rebukes, as a father, the son whom he favors. Happy is the man who finds wisdom, the man who attains understanding. Her value in trade is better than silver her yield greater than gold. She is more precious than rubies. All of your goods cannot equal her. In her right hand is length of days, in her left riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths peaceful. She is a tree of life to those who grasp her, and whoever holds on to her is happy. The Lord founded the earth by wisdom. He established the heavens by understanding. By his knowledge the depths burst apart and the skies distilled dew. My son, do not lose sight of them. Hold on to resourcefulness and foresight. They will give life to your spirit and grace to your throat. Then you will go to your way safely and not injure your feet. When you lie down, you will be unafraid. You will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. You will not fear sudden terror or the disaster that comes upon the wicked. For the Lord will be your trust. He will keep your feet from being caught. Do not withhold good from one who deserves it, when you have the power to do it for him. Do not say to your fellow, Come back again, I'll give it to you tomorrow, when you have it with you. Do not devise harm against your fellow, who lives trustfully with you. Do not quarrel with a man for no cause, when he has done you no harm. Do not envy a lawless man or choose any of his ways. For the devious man is an abomination to the Lord, but he is intimate with the straightforward. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the abode of the righteous. At scoffers he scoffs, but to the lowly he shows grace. The wise shall obtain honor, but dullards get disgrace as their portion. Walk into 